Hey people of the internet and welcome to Microtech. We're here today with a Windows Surface RT tablet running the Windows 8.1 update um, and we're going to do a quick review over it but before we actually jump into the OS itself let's take a look around the device. Now as you can see it's in its standing form. As you can see here we actually have the kickstand. Now, unfortunately one thing that's a pain with these devices is that this kickstand is not adjustable so you have to have it at this angle. Um, as you can see itself the kickstand is very nice it's actually molded into the device and it has that classic click sound which you might not actually be able to hear but it is there and as you can see here there's a quick little lip here which you can use to actually flip the kickstand up oops you can actually just flip the kickstand up and prop it back down. Now let's go over the device. As you can see on the front here, we have a front facing camera and a light sensor, which means that when you have your device on, if the brightness changes in your environment, the brightness will also change on the screen itself. We also have a capacitive button here for the uh, home um, to go back to the start menu. On the side here, we have, the, we have an audio jack. We actually have the right uh, left speaker actually, sorry, left speaker up here, controls for the volume and the uh, flip for the kickstand. On the bottom is the port for which you can connect your touch or type keyboards and I believe when the new Surface comes out one of the keyboards possibly, I can't quite remember for certain so don't take my word on it, may actually connect to this as well. On the right hand side we have the connector here for the charging port which is also magnetic, uh, a USB 2.0, a clip for connecting to a, um, to a monitor and also your right um, speaker. On the top of the device we have here the power button and what I believe are the microphones for the device itself and on the back we have the rear facing camera. Let's go ahead and turn the device on and we'll uh, show you some of the features which are actually available in on the device itself. Now as you can see as it loads up it doesn't use it doesn't have the Windows 8 logo as it's turning on. This actually uses its own surface logo. Now that the device is booted we'll show you uh, the operating system itself running on the Surface device. Now if we swipe up, here we have what's called a picture password which allows you to actually sign into your account by using a photograph and um, using gestures on the picture itself. So on here I have a picture of my girlfriend's cat and if I swipe across the eyes and dot on the nose twice I might have done the swipe there we go, it loads me straight into my um, home screen and I can start doing what I do best. Now, the RT operating system itself actually runs very smoothly on the RT device and as you can see, it, you know, it is very fluid. There isn't much lag in the device at all. Um, we can actually zoom out and move these um, sections around and zoom back in and we also have here the app list and it's sorting by category now if we um, go into the camera application I'll show you the what the quality of the camera is itself um, and one of the cool things about the camera application in on a surface tablet I don't know if it's on most tablets as you can see it's it's quite a good camera you can actually change it over to the front facing camera Hello and um, use the front facing camera if you want. But one of the cool features is, is this, it's, I've not seen it on my own PC and I may be wrong and I'm not, I'm not doing this as a review for the application itself, but one of the cool things you can do with the Surface is actually take a panorama picture using the camera application itself. So it will take a picture, I'll move the camera, I'll move the device, I mean, sorry, and it will take another photograph to create a panorama picture. If I go swipe across, you can actually move around the image itself. But as you can see, you can actually take a panorama photo of your house, for example, and it can actually put it into the device. 
Now, obviously, the gestures are very easy to use on a uh, Windows 8 tablet than they are a Windows PC, as people already complained about the gestures don't actually work very well with a PC. But I have got used to them, so I do know how to do the gestures. But using a touchscreen, everything's very fluid. You can bring in the charms bar from the side. You can actually bring in applications from the side using this. You can bring up the app menu by swiping and swiping back. And you can also drag in an application and snap it. Now, the good thing about Windows 8.1 is that you can actually adjust this to whatever size you want. It's not, it's not fixed like it was previously with the 2575 or I can't remember if it was actually 2575 or 3366 but you can actually change the size of your snap um, to better suit what you are going to be doing with your device. One of the great things about the music application in this it combined with the search functionality in Windows 8.1 so when you actually do a search for an artist for example it will not only search your files on the device but will also load up applications within the search itself. So here is actually the Xbox Music search layout. So here it's search for the band. It's showing me some information here. I can actually go to Wikipedia or install the application for Wikipedia, look at the songs, for example, watch videos, look at the albums, and it actually does a Bing search for me. So then I can, you know, go straight to the internet. There are also applications here for people who have created fan-based apps. It will also search up. Xbox Music and you know it, it does more than what the search did previously in the OS. In terms of the internal hardware itself this is a Surface RT device with the Nvidia Tegra 3 quad core CPU 1.3 gigahertz processor 2 gig of RAM a 32 bit ARM pro, um, operating system sorry it has the full Windows touch support with five touch points which means I can only use five fingers on this and not the full 10 which most Windows 8 Pro tablets will use and when Windows 8.1 is released it will be available to download in the Microsoft Store. Another cool thing about the Surface RT is that you don't actually need um, the touch or type keyboard you can purchase any Windows 8 keyboard and use it with your device. Here we have the um, Microsoft Sculpt keyboard, which is a Windows 8 enabled keyboard. It has the commands at the top to open the different things. And this is actually connected via Bluetooth. You can actually perform um, tasks using a non-standard touch or type keyboard which you'd connect to your device. So for example, if I wanted to search for something, I press the F5, which is a search key on here. It loads up search and I can start searching. Not only that, I can do all the things like playing music. I can change the volume. I can mute the device. I hope you've enjoyed this quick review of the Windows RT tablet and the Windows 8.1 operating system. As you can see here, this is a preview and Microsoft will be releasing 8.1 very soon in October for you to download from the uh, Windows Store. Thank you for watching guys. Bye.